go to a reward challenge yesterday. We weren't really expecting it. Show up, looks like a very simple, very simple challenge. There are only about four steps, a couple of obstacles, go under a log, dig in the sand, play a little ski ball. And it was so much more than that, all for some kitchen supplies. It was a bitch of a challenge and probably one of the hardest physical things any of us have ever done. For me personally, I just came from Snowmageddon in Massachusetts, and here I am in the equivalent of the Sahara Desert. It's about 118 degrees, I think Jeff said, and we're digging in the sand like dogs trying to just find these bags with these balls in them, and it's the weight keeps getting heavier and heavier because you're exhausted and you can't find these bags and you don't know how far down they are. And it's like the never ending digging of a hole to China. And by the time you find the bags and you have to compose yourself to get balls in a hole, you're literally ready to keel over. You, you feel like you're in a pressure cooker and you're expected to perform in front of everyone. When Jeff said we went, we won, I honestly didn't even process it. We all kind of started dropping and just trying to calm down. I was psyched to win, but I was more concerned about making sure everyone on my tribe was going to stay on their two feet. And not everybody did. Debbie went down and I, I knew she was down, but I was still trying to control my breathing so I could calm down. And Peter was doing the same thing and Joe was doing the same thing. And Joe saw that Debbie was struggling. He saw the look in her eyes because he's incredibly perceptive to emotions and she dropped and finally he called over medical even though she was being stubborn little Debbie kind of like me and was trying to refuse. Jeff and the medical team come over. They can tell that Debbie's temperature is up. They start pouring water on her trying to calm her down and she slowly starts to get better and I could tell in the way she was speaking and the cadence of her speech that she was improving but it was it was a scary moment for me it was just a few days ago that i was out of my mind dehydrated and we got to that point from different ways but i could relate to that feeling of i knew debbie was there and i knew that she wanted to be okay but there's a complete loss of control and there was nothing i could do except be there for her for me at that moment when debbie was down it wasn't about survivor it was about making sure that a woman who was there for me was going to be okay. I, it wasn't about the game. I just wanted her to be okay. She's a little thing. She's a wiry little spitfire, but that challenge knocked her out. This woman will not eat. She doesn't have to eat and she goes through the day and she doesn't stop chattering about, but she could have been down for the count. 